Let's see some real examples. This is for contrast sampling in a fly's compound eye. So here, S is a scalar value for input contrast to the photoreceptor. Ks is the contrast, contrast response function for the downstream neuron, a large monopolar cell. And we consider the case when input noise is zero. So this means that we should use uh, maximum entropy coding to maximize the entropy HO. Therefore, we need to make O to be equally likely for all possible O values within the range of O values allowed by this neuron. Now, since O is equal to Ks plus the output noise, for intuitive understanding, we can just now ignore this output noise NO for now. So therefore, for PO to be a uniform distribution, we require that Ks also follow a uniform distribution. So for example, if we have this probability distribution of input contrast, in this example, low input contrast is more probable than high input contrast. And uh, just for example, let's use this contrast response function. You see that it grows quickly with low contrast and then saturates for high contrast. Yeah, That means it's very sensitive to low contrast and less sensitive to changes, less sensitive to, more sensitive to changes in low contrast and less sensitive to changes in high contrast. Yeah, And this will map input to output and this output Let's plot this output and this output in a probability here this way. It's going to be more uniformly distributed. Now, why is this so? This is because for the more probable input contrast, it maps through this very stretchy region of um, response function. It stretches a small range of input to a large range of output. Okay, It dumps this volume of input to that volume of output. And for higher contrast, it's less likely and goes through this less stretchy region of uh, response function and it dumps into this range of output. And so therefore you can play with this uh, stretchy sensitivities to map a non-uniform distribution of input to a more uniform distribution of output. Okay. Now we can also express this intuition more formally, and this means this uh, probability volume within that ds range is equal to the corresponding probability value within that range of contrast response. Okay. Now if you move this ds to the other uh, dks to the other side, now you get this. So the probability for this contrast response should be equal to this. Yeah. Now remember, we require this probability to be uniform, so it's a constant. So that means this should be a constant. And for this to be a constant, we require this uh, sensitivity. This is the slope of the contrast response function, so the slope is sensitivity, to scale with the probability of input. And so now you move this ds to the other side, it becomes this. Yeah. And so now you, you can integrate uh, this equation, and this is the result. So contrast response function, you integrate this. So contrast response function should be a cumulative distribution of uh, the input contrast. It scales with the cumulative distribution. So that means if you already know what is the statistics of your input through its probability, you can completely determine what should be the contrast response function by this maximum entropy coding. This means, you know, that notice that this is the, again the sensitivity, the slope of your contrast response function should be scaling with your probability distribution. And so therefore for the more probable uh, input contrast, you should have more sensitive, more stretchy part of your contrast response function. That makes sense, yeah? So this is the actual finding by Laughlin, 
and this is the input contrast, this is the contrast response function, and the data is his measurement of the contrast response function actually in the fly. And the solid curve is the prediction from maximum entropy coding. You can see the prediction agrees quite well with data. So we just consider a case when the input noise is negligible. But what if when this noise is substantial? In such a case, we should no longer use maximum entropy coding. And for details, you can look at the textbook.